All right, so translating algebraic equations. So we're gonna practice again with translating between English and algebra. So we're gonna use the variable x for the unknown number when it comes up. So the first was a word phrase we wanna to translate to an equation. So what I do is I look for keywords and one of the first things I look for is anything stating equivalent to or is, and this is basically just gonna be our equal sign. So in our equation, here's our equal sign. The right side, after it says is equivalent to is 10, I know the right side is gonna be 10. Now, the left side is talking about the sum of twice a number and 10. So when I take this apart, the sum of is representing an addition and then it just lists the two things that I'm adding. Twice a number is the first, so twice a number is two times a number, or two x, and then n7 would be the second. So this would be an equation that's translated from that. So now to do this backwards, if I have an algebraic equation, um, I'm basically going to do this backwards. So I'm going to start with the equal sign and translate that back to something like is. The right side is 12. So I know I can put 12 here on the right side or is 12, period. The left expression I need to rewrite as in English. So maybe because it's um, 3x minus 6, we can say this is the difference of. And the two things that we're taking the difference of would be 3x. Well, we could say the difference of 3 times x, or we could say triple a number. And the other part of I equals sine is 6. So the difference of triple a number and 6 is 12. So putting this all together, I'll just move this is 12 down here. So again, I'm kind of doing the same thing back and forth when I translate. So here's an English phrase that says twice a number has the same value as the difference of the same number in 10. So again, I'm looking for that signifying the equal sign. So has the same value as would signify the equal sign. So it doesn't matter which side we want to translate first. Let's do the left side. And the left side is twice a number. Well, we know when we translate that, that's the same as 2 times x. And then the right side would be the difference of the same number in 10. Well, when I translate the right side, the difference of is a subtraction. And the two things that I'm subtracting is the same number and 10. Well, x represents the number and then 10. So this would be a way we can translate our English into the algebraic equation. So again, look for that equal sign and start from there and then just translate each side of that to each to the, each expression. So let's let's look here. Um, we have an equal sign so we'll translate that to, how about just equals? <laughs> and on the right side, whoops, let me move this over. Um, on the, excuse me, let's do the left side first. On the left side, we have this expression, which you notice it's one half times the quantity of x plus five. So I have to make sure that I'm taking one half times that quantity. So we can say half of 
and then the quantity is an addition, right? This expression inside. So we can kind of group that as the sum of a number and five. So the sum of would group that as an expression, a number in five, equals, and then the right side is the difference of, or we could say it's one less than, the same number, because it's using x again. So half of the sum of a number in 5 equals 1 less than the same number. And that would be a translation back to English for that expression. So you can practice with your, your triads on page 58. Um, again, looking for keywords and um, translating piece by piece.